I'm in the barrel room right now. And this is the barrel room where we keep the barrels. There's a, a big shift underway right now because while I was gone, we had a delivery of oxoline shelving. And what that means is that we've got all these empty shelves now. Instead of placing the barrels on top of each other like this, we get to place them like that. Now, when wine sits in a barrel, um, not all of it is in contact with the wood. There's no flux in the barrel, so uh, it tends to be that over time, the wine on the outside, which is in direct contact with the wood, gets a lot more wood than the wine on the inside, in the middle. What you have to do There's work being done, and that's gonna happen. That's my dad uh, pressure washing in the next room. He's pressure washing a lot. <laughs> my hair is purposely disheveled today to show you exactly how I look whenever I'm at the vineyard. This is how it looks, uh, no alterations. It's just dad and me normally, so I don't care. He doesn't care. This is how the world will see us too. Everything's kind of got an orange hue in here. I want you to know I did not intentionally or unintentionally alter the color scheme for the room. It's just somber in here, and the walls are a certain orange color, and so everything comes out kind of orange. Once the barrel is on an independent tracking system in the oxaline shelves, you can move it around much more easily. To demonstrate, I'm gonna make a little mark on it. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, all right. And then, now that it's in the system, even though it's full, you can still spin it around, which is nice, because it allows easy access to the juice, and um, it also lets us rebalance the barrels really easily, pull one out independently from all the rest. Uh, one thing that happens when it's in a barrel is that a lot of the wine is uh, in the center of the barrel and a little bit of the wine is out on the edges in direct contact with the wood. Now the wine in direct contact is going to get a lot more of, of the, the structure and, and well, the give from the wood than the wine in the middle is and so you want to kind of rotate that out sometimes. Also you need to pull out the fines that settle at the bottom of the barrel or just sometimes move the wine from one barrel to another. There's a lot of different processes that happen at the vineyard and that's just something that you need to do and it's a lot easier now that we have this sweet new shelving system.